Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make these lacy black and white earrings. They're easy to make, I'm showing step by step so I'm sure even if you are a beginner you will be able to make them by yourself. Feel invited to ask me anything in the comments, ask me down there, I'll answer to all of you. So if you like what I'm showing, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button if you still haven't and you will be inspired two times a week. I will be so happy to have you as my viewer. Down there in description you will find the full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful works that you did following my tutorials. You could also check my second channel Bijuteo Fast Clips just to save time and enjoy the process of creation. Link in description again. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are two colors of 11 oz seed beads, white and black. And here I use earring finding in this beautiful black color. This is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters. You could use other beading thread of your choice. This is size 10 beading needle scissors. And these are flat nose pliers that are not obligatory. I use them only if I need to go through the difficult beads. Okay, and now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm back and what I'm going to pick up here is a white and a black. A white and a black. And I will repeat this six times in total. Okay guys, and now I have 12 beads in total. Six white and six black and I'm alternating them. Okay, so now I'm going to slide those down like this. I will stick my needle in my mat and what I want to do here is make a knot and I'm making my knot by making here a loop going twice through the loop I've made and I pull and then I will make one more knot just like this. And now guys, I have this, okay? So now, in my next step, what I want to do is go through some beads in this direction. Okay. Then here guys, as I'm exiting from a white bead, I'm taking three more white beads. I'm skipping the black one and I'm going in the next white. Okay, really simple and easy as you may see. Then again, I'm taking three white beads, skipping the black one and going through the following white. Then again, three. And I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. Okay guys, and at my last step uh, pay attention to go through this bit and not through this one because it's a common mistake that is made. Okay, so what I want to do is exit here at the top. And what I want to do is pick up five black beads. Okay, guys, and I have my five beads here, you see. And I'm going in the next white bead. Okay, like that. Then again, I will pick up five beads. Okay, five. And go through the next one. Okay, then again. Okay. 
Okay guys, and I'll do this off camera three more times and I'll meet you here. Okay guys, and here I'm adding my last five beads from this row. Okay, and what I want to do next is go through three black beads after that. You see I'm going through three of them. And after I go through three, I'm exiting through the middle of my five beads. Okay, I'm exiting out of this one. And I'm going to take three white beads and go back in circle just like this. Okay, now I have this. Then here I will go through two black beads. Take just one white bead and go here through the next three black beads, okay? And I pull. Then again, I'm going to pick up three white beads and as I'm exiting through this middle one here, I'm going back in circle through it and pull. And when I pull here, I have a loop between those beads, okay? Then go through two. Take just one white bead. And after that, go through the next three black beads. Okay, I have this. Then again, I'm taking three white beads. Going back through the middle one in circle. You see here I have two beads and two beads and this is the middle one where I add my three in circle. Okay, now I have this taking one. Okay. And I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. Don't worry that it bends at this stage like this. Uh, we'll fix it later. Okay, and I'll do this off camera and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, guys, and here I am almost at the end of my work where I'm adding my last white bead. Okay, just a sec. Okay, I have it. And again, don't worry that it bends and moves like this because in my next row I'll fix it. Okay, now I'm exiting out of this black here at the top. Then what I do is that I go through these two white beads back in circle because I want to exit out of this white bead here. Okay, like this. Now guys, what I want to do is flip my work just like that because it's easier to go in this direction. And as I'm exiting from this white bead, okay, I'm exiting out of this one. If you don't see my thread, here it is. And I take one white bead and I go here through this one. Again, it's not obligatory to flip, just this is what I prefer. Okay, then I take one and I go here in my next white. And in this row, everything will straighten up, okay? I'm going here through these white beads. I'm taking just one white. And I'm going here through this one. Like that. Then again, a white one. Go here. Then through these two beads, take one, go here. Okay, guys, and I think you get the idea. Just continue adding one bead everywhere. If you forgot how I'm doing this, rewind the video and see it here. And when I'm up to here, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and I'm here at my last step where I add my last white bead. And you see how everything straightens up. You could go and reinforce this row one more time if you want. 
Now I'm going to show you my next step. I'm going through this bead here at the top, this white bead. And what I want to take are seven black beads. Okay. I have my seven here. And I'm going through the next white bead. Just like this. Then again, I take seven. Check again, it's seven. And go here through this white bead. Showing one more time. Okay, and I will continue this three more times and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, guys, and I'm here at my last step where I'm adding my last seven beads. Okay, now I have this. And in my next step, guys, I'm going through three black beads just like this and what i want to take are three white beads okay i'm taking them then i skip the next bead okay i'm exiting out of the third one here i'm skipping the fourth one and i'm going through the next beads okay now i have this and in my next step, I'm going through the white and back through this black one. Okay. Then here, guys, I'm exiting out of the first black one. Let me focus. I'm exiting out of this first black one. And what I need to take are three white beads, just like this, three of them. And I'm going through the next black and through the white again in circle. Okay, you see I have a loop of beads here. Then what I do next is that I go through three black beads. Just like this. Take three white beads. Skip the one that's on my way. Okay, I'm going through three, skipping the fourth one. And then I go through the next three black beads. And I also went through the next white. Okay, now this is what I have. Okay, and what I want to do here is go through the first black bead. Just like this. Take three white beads. And go back in circle through the previous black and through the white again. Okay, now I have this. Then I'm going through three black beads in this direction. Here I'm taking three white beads, just like this, skipping the one that's on my way and going through these three black beads. Okay, this is what I have. I'll show you one more time how I'm doing this part. I'm going through the first black one here. I take three. And instead of going forward, I'm going backward and in circle. And I'm going through this black and through the white after that. Okay, that is all I'm doing. I'll finish this off camera and, and meet you here. If you forgot how I'm doing this, just rewind the video, see how I do this part and repeat it from here. Okay, see you in a while. Okay, guys, and I'm here at my last step. And what I do is the same thing. I go back in circle through those beads, adding three. If you have trouble, use your pliers, okay? Now I'm going through these three black beads and through the next white here. Okay. Now I'm exiting out of this white bead here. If you don't see my thread, here it is. And I'm taking three black beads. I skip the one in the center. 
and I go through the following white. Okay, like this. Then I go through the next white bead. That's on my way. And I take three black beads. Skip the one that's in the center and go here. Okay, and after that I went through these two black beads and it's time to go through my next white bead. And always guys, my goal is to exit out of this white bead at three, then exit out of this white. Okay, so I take three, skip the central one and go through the next two black beads. Okay. Now I have this, then I go through the first white bead. Okay, I'm showing one more time. I'm adding three beads, skipping the central one, going through the next two black beads and exiting out of the first white of those three. Okay. And now guys, I have this and I will continue my work and I'll be back to tell you how to attach your earring finding. Okay guys, and I'm here where I should put my last three black beads. Okay, I put them like this. And in my next step guys, you see I'm exiting out of this two black beads like I did before and what I want to do is go through the white and through the black and I'm aiming for this black bead that's sticking out the most okay then I will take my earring finding and I will attach it here by picking up one white bead then I'm picking up my earring finding then one more white bead okay and as i'm exiting from this uh, black bead at the top i'm going back in circle through it okay and now i have this and i'm going to reinforce this part several times Okay guys, and now as I reinforce this part, it's time to go here and to make a knot. Okay, I'm here between this white and black bead. Make a loop. Then I'm going once and I'm going second time through this loop I've made. I make sure I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from and I pull. Then what I do is that I go through the following bead. I stick my needle in my mat and I cut my thread. Okay, and now my lacy black and white earring is ready. Okay guys, and now my lacy black and white earrings are ready, so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button if you still haven't, and in this way you will be notified when I make new tutorials, usually two times a week, and you will be inspired often. Down there in description you will find the full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel, and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful works that you did following my tutorials. I will be so happy to see your creations and I will be so happy to have you as my viewer. You could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much of a support this is. And you could check my second channel, Bijuteufas Clips, 
and you could also check out my second channel with the fast clips also down there in description thank you so much for watching bye bye from